my voice is clear okay sir so good afternoon so i am sadish from pantech solution okay so today we are discussed iot anybody know for what is an iot anybody know what is an iot okay so today and then tomorrow we are discussed then what is an iot so in this I uh, iot is one of the concept of embedded system okay so it is mainly used to, to communicate and then controlling and then to monitoring for any appliances to connect uh, it's meaning for to automatically to communicate machine to machine communication or otherwise human to machine communication through internet okay so that purpose only using this iot in embedded system so mainly so the mainly then the internet of things the, uh, so in, in this inter, internet of things back end is used to for different protocols like uh, mqtt protocol tcp to ip protocol if every data has to transmitting and receiving depends on this tcp to ip protocol so for example to taking in your messengers like uh, facebook instagram uh, whatsapp or anything so these are like the messengers then how the messenger transmit transmitting and receiving in your message so depends on this back end layer as running into different protocols okay so then the, every data has to transmitting and receiving depends on this tcp to ip protocol okay so why using protocols in communication system in iot so the mainly then the every communication system like us uh, running into depends on this protocol okay so what is first what is communication so what is communication communication like exchanging exchanging one data exchanging from data one device to another device through wired or wireless internet or anything okay so internet or ethernet or anything so every data has to transmitting from one device to another device okay so it's a communication so that purpose only using this communication so the what is communication protocol communication protocol uh, protocol means then to create the set of rules and regulation so to combination of communication protocol okay so every data has to transmitting and receiving uh, set of rules and regulation okay so for example to send the message from one device to another device so you you to your friends okay so you transmitting uh, to, to, to transmit any messages to in your friend so uh, then how correctly the message has to receiving for the particular person depends on this protocols okay so uh, it's a transmitting protocol then next one is it then go to google then to access that http protocol so why using http protocol hypertext transfer protocol to access the particular address the address is meant for url okay so uh, wants to enter in your web page or to search the google or anything then using uh, to search image files or any pdf file or anything so using this keywords okay so then that means uh, to give and the uh, url okay so uh, the particular address uh, then how to send uh, using this http protocol okay so in this two day sessions we have discussed uh, then uh, how iot has running then different protocols like uh, http protocol mqtt protocol so and then uh, difference of clouds then how to used uh, clouds then how to interface the uh, control uh, embedded system and then every data has to transmitting through cloud okay okay so first so uh, today i give the introduction of then what is an embedded system then what is an iot so which purpose iots are used in embedded system okay so first then intro of em intro to embedded system so anybody know what is an embedded system So embedded system is a micro uh, microprocessor based computer hardware system computer hardware with the software based this uh, system okay so it's a combination of both hardware and then uh, both both hardware and then software okay so it's combination of um, uh, both hardware and then software it's an embedded system okay so it's a meaning of embedded what, uh, what is the meaning of embedded what is the meaning of system so it's a different meaning okay 
so uh, system is like uh, to give the set of uh, to give uh, it's a way of working to give the set of rules and regulation after then uh, to give the tasks okay so to give the task the task has to collecting and then to arrange the particular task the task is executed it's a meaning of system okay so embedded embedded is meaning for to merge the hardware and then software okay so to combine embedded system means to merge the hardware and then software it's a uh, then hardware to collect the data then to combination of uh, hardware and then software to collect the data to uh, to arrange the set of tasks and then uh, to execute the set of rules and regulations okay so to organizing and then to set of rules and regulations and then to execute the particular output okay so it's the definition of inter, uh, embedded system okay so next another one is here so mainly that uh, which purpose using the uh, which purpose using for the embedded system anybody so then the mainly th then the, uh, in this embed system we are using two microprocessors and then micro then how an embed system works so in this embed system is managed by uh, dip microcontrollers and then microprocessors and then DSP digital signal processing and then application oriented embed systems okay so next another one is the application specific uh, uh, IC uh, then next another one is the FPGA so uh, next GPU technologies then CPU then different functions then processors are used in this embed system so for example to take the microcontrollers okay so there are different microcontrollers like Atmel uh, Atmel microcontroller, AVR microcontroller, PIC microcontroller, 8051 microcontroller. So anybody know for difference between what my uh, uh, difference between microprocessor and then microcontroller? So the microprocessor 8085 is a microprocessor. Okay, so in your laptop also is one of the microprocessor, then desktop or anything. So it's uh, act as the particular specific talks, uh, normal general purpose things only. Okay, so for example. Uh, then uh, to create the separate separate blocks like an internal structures CPU uh, RAM ROM memories or anything okay so memory peripherals then this all function has to fix in separate separate blocks for example to taking in your desktop or laptop or anything okay so uh, once to uh, then to fix the RAM ROM memories then CPU GPU or anything then all are fixed in the separate separate blocks once if anyone can damage it to easily to replace or otherwise to externally any function externally any RAM or any ROM or anything externally functions it, it added okay so it's possible but microcontroller microcontroller then all functional block has to fix in in single chip okay so and then single chip is mentioned for IC integrating chip okay so uh, all functional blocks like as yes, then memory ROM uh, memory like as yes, RAM and then ROM CPU GPU and then the processing unit, then timer, peripherals, all functional block has fixed into and that, that particular single chip. Okay. So to taking in your mobile phones also, then in your mobile phone is using for a single chip. Okay. So the chip is used for, then nowadays the chip is used for then uh, nano chips, right? So then in this fingertips only, then the chip has, uh, chip size is uh, fingertip size only. So then the chip is uh, small size, but processing is more high. So then how to uh, how to make the chip so instead of using different uh, millions of transistors and then diodes and then capacitors uh, then transistors are used so using then millions of and then billions of uh, capacitors are used means that the processing is high and then uh, to give the more accuracy so easily to control for anything okay to controlling and then monitoring so these are the difference between for microprocessor and then microcontroller okay so uh, the main the control unit like as instead of then ALU CPU the memories these are the control units okay so the ALU is mentioned for them to create the, uh, the CPU and then the ALU is mentioned for the ALU to give the additional functions like uh, addition subtraction mathematical functions like addition subtraction multiplication division or anything okay so uh, it's give the processing speed for so more high and then to give more accuracy okay so then how uh, then the basic structure of embed system the basic structures like then how it's working then how embed system has run okay so the basic structure like as yes, first to give the input so the input is meant for keypad or anything 
sensors, keypads, um, buttons, these are all our inputs. Okay, so user has to give an input or otherwise sensors to take the uh, automatic inputs, like then to depends on your environment. Okay, so uh, input and then next one is a ADC converter. So and then controller and then say input and then controller. Okay, so uh, after sensors to collect the data, the data has to transmitting to another controller. Okay, so for Arduino or anything controller, like so the mainly then the controllers used to depends on designer. Uh, designers applications only okay so microcontrollers best used to uh, high application tasks okay so uh, used for companies only like uh, small scale industries or anything okay so this uh, normal specific oriented uh, uh, in this embed system has classified into two types like normal embed system and then microcontroller based embed system okay so the normal uh, application oriented embed system like as uh, in your taking in your home okay so all are using mobile phones laptop TV, uh, then fridge washing machine. So these are all uh, application oriented embed system. Okay. So the microcontroller based embed system mainly used to uh, control the appliance applications. Okay. So then our, uh, to like us then Arduino, then uh, ARM7, ARM Cortex, ARM Cortex M3, Raspberry Pi. Okay, Beagle Bone Board, Modern CU, there are different microcontrollers are you pick. So there are different microcontrollers are used. Okay. So the, uh, this microcontroller is used for different different applications and then different functionals. Okay. So normally in this embed systems using for all uh, for example uh, all domains like to consider for any up uh, in your environment to taking any domains like uh, home, uh, medical industries, then shopping, consumer products. Uh, industries automations industries automations or anything okay so uh, all fun all things has to dip, uh, running into depends on this embed system so like uh, tv to consider uh, taking in your home tvs is also running into embedder like then the back end is running into whole circuit then motherboard okay so once the motherboard has damaged then the whole system cannot be running okay so same thing then the processor mm. same thing then uh, medical field so you uh, MRI scan, CT scan, then X-ray, ECG. So these are all are using for uh, running into depends on the embedder. And then same thing, consumer products like then the Q, uh, barcode scanner or anything. Okay. So industries like uh, or, uh, automation cars. Okay. So robots like us or anything. Okay. So these are uh, these are all are running into depends on these embedded systems only. So. Uh, so most of the, then in this normal world then mostly to create the autonomous like uh, full based on this embedded and then the merged in this embedded systems newly concept, newly added the uh, future trending in this embedded systems like as yes, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, augmented reality, virtual reality, uh, IoT, machine learning, deep learning. So there are different concepts are used okay in in, in this future technology okay. Then how to build the AI and then how uh, how to build the AI and then uh, virtual reality, augmented reality and then blockchain, blockchain technologies like or anything. Okay, then how, so using IoT concept, so all functionals like uh, AI or anything. So all functional has to, all domain has to build in IoT. Okay, so IoT is one of the fun, uh, communication uh, system. Okay, so easily your data has to transmitting and receiving. Okay. So uh, mainly then IoT is used to for easily communicate with the one uh, one device to another device through all over the world. Okay, so if any place easily to con uh, monitoring and then data receiving. Okay, so that purpose only using this IoT. So uh, there are different communication systems are used like uh, short range communication system, long range communication systems, uh, and then same thing. Then uh, moderate uh, moderate communication system. There are different communication systems are used. Okay, for the embedded system. So like uh, short range communication systems like as then Bluetooth, then Zigbee. These are all short range communication system. So if data has to transmitting and then receiving few meters only, like 10 meters or 11 meters, then 15 meters. That particular meters only your data has to transmitting. Then go to out of range. Then the data cannot be receiving. Okay, so this is a short range communication like a long range communication like as yes, uh, LoRaWAN, LVAN, uh, IoT. So these are all easily your data has to transmitting. So 
how it's possible means all over the world all are using in internet right so using internet then to connect the to connect the server from one place to one, uh, one server to another server easily using gateway okay so easily your data has to transmitting through internet okay so these are the basics of embed system okay any doubt so in this embed system is mainly used to uh, application oriented that purpose only okay so uh, then to controlling and then monitoring like home control home monitoring and then uh, medical field like yes then medical tracking so all uh, all function has to implemented in uh, all domain has to implemented in embed system at the same thing using I, uh, implemented into iots also okay okay next we have discussed uh, then what is an iot so then what is an iot means then iot is mainly used to internet of things the things is represent for uh, every data has to uh, to communicate with one thing to another th another things without a human or with a human okay so then how to communicate it's a autonomous like uh, to create the to create the things to consider fat to taking in your home like to communicate with one fan to another fan once the fan has to stop automatically your data has to to control uh, another fan then how it's possible through internet okay then how to build an iot so the process is first one is it to collect the data okay so it then how to build an iot means it's a main major components are four major components are used one is a electronics like hardware and then software like yes depends on the software platform and the next one is a sensors okay to uh, to collect the raw data and then next one is a network so networking is a main one to build an iot okay so to uh, is uh, all data has to collect all data has to communicate collecting the data has to exchange from one device to another device through internet or anything through sorry through uh, wired network or wireless network to build an iot okay so in this iot has to built in any places and then any time and then any things okay so it cannot any restrictions easily to build for uh, any com uh, any things and any places and then any time okay so uh, it's not an any restrictions and easy to build an iot con iot concept so next another one is here then the what is sensors first one then what is sensor sensor means it's a basic structure sensors measure a, uh, measure the physical data physical quantities to convert an electrical signal okay so it's many for sensors to collect the raw data environmental raw data after then data has to collecting data has to transfer the controller okay so but controller cannot be accepted so why controller cannot be accepted means it's a machine machine act a machine easily to uh, learn for zeros and ones only okay so it acts as binary binary language only okay so one means high and then zero means low but it's a discrete signal okay so but uh, analog uh, sensors act as analog signals okay it's uh, give the output of continuous uh, infinite loop infinite signal okay so but controller cannot be accepted uh, controller can be accepted means then using uh, in between gap uh, sensors and then controller in between gap we are using to adc converter so using ADC converter to convert the analog to digital data, so the data has to be uh, converting analog to digitals, okay, analog signal to digital signal, sent by the controller to digital signal, okay, so using ADC converter, next one is here, controller, it's a processing unit, okay, so controlling and processing unit, so after the uh, collect the digital data to control actuators, the next one is the output, output is actuator like to control light, or uh, to control any appliances okay so any control depends on this in your applications or to control robot or to control fan to control light or to control for automations or anything depends on your apl application okay so these are the basic structure of embed system and then same thing to build an iot every data has to transmitting and receiving through an iot only okay so uh, this is the definition of iot then uh, how built then how iot has to working okay then how iot has working means then it's communicating from uh, then exchanging from data through internet at the same time uh, to analyze the data okay so to analyze is and then to transmit from one device to another device after then to communicate from one device to another devices okay first to check the signals and then your data has to transmitting though it's a processing okay 
So next one is a so it's a one one of the example. Then how to build an IoT through in your home? It's one of the example of then how to build an IoT. So for example, then to uh, then how to monitor in your home through internet? Okay, so monitoring and controlling in your home appl appliances. Okay, so but you are in outside, but uh, then you are home in one place, but you are in outside. Then how to control and then how to monitor through IoT? Okay. So for example, now I am in office or anything. Then how to control in my? Uh, then how to control and then monitor in my home? So every data it's continuously sensor, uh, then using sensors and then controllers. So every data has to collecting, then data has to transmit the cloud. Okay. So all are know the cloud, right? All are know the cloud. All are using Google Drive, right? So Google Drive is one of the cloud. So which purpose all are using in Google Drive? To store then the main purpose to store the data. Okay, so if any time you will, uh, if any time to monitor in your personal uh, to store the files or anything, so and then if any time to monitor, it's easily okay. So to free up in your uh, phone spaces, it's same concept we are applied uh, implemented into IoT. Okay, so it's uh, using cloud. There are different clouds are used. Okay, so if every data has to then sensors to collect the data. Okay, so raw data, the data has to transmit to controller. Controller has to push the uh, through uh, transmit the data through internet through cloud. Okay, to cloud. Then uh, if any places to easily then open in your, to taking in your mobile phone or tablet uh, tablet or anything. Okay, so laptop or anything. So then go to access in your cloud. Then easily to monitor and then you through cloud to control the appliances or anything. Okay, so easily to monitor in your any data. It's possible through internet IoT. Okay. So this is one of the concepts. At the same time, to control the uh, the, uh, the particular appliances on or off or anything. Okay, so it's possible. And then same, uh, the next one is the history of IoT. So uh, Kevin Armstrong has to implement the IoT in 1989, uh, 1998. Okay, so at the time, uh, then how to implement the IoT in Kevin uh, in Kevin hands uh, Kevin Kevin Armstrong means. So to build the using RFID technology to build the IoT concept. Okay, so uh, he is implemented the uh, introduced the IoT concept in 1918, 1998. Okay, so uh, the same thing in 1998, uh, he introduced the IoT concept, but then the IoT has to reach the high market in 2013 only. Okay, so 2013 only then uh, most of the software companies has to. Most of the software companies are go to reach in high market like uh, take the Facebook, Instagram. Uh, after after 2014, then uh, most of the software companies to reach the high market like uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, uh, then Google also. Okay, so Google, uh, then same thing. There are different tutors or anything. So okay, so it before 2013. So IoT has to implement for few devices only. Like it's a current status of futures, futures and IoT. Okay. So in 1990, in 1998, then only few devices to connecting. At the time, most of the people are used. Okay, so to consider the 2003, at the time, world population is 3.6.3 billion, but connecting devices 0.08 percentage only. Okay, so uh, connecting devices like as 500 millions only. Okay, so then go to reach the two th after 2010 and then after 2014, then the IoT concept has to be built in more than uh, four or five times okay so like and then to, uh, to compare the 2003 to 2010 and then to compare the 2010 to 2015 same 2015 to, to 2020 okay so uh, after 2020 phase also most of the things okay so most of the things has to built in iot concepts only so nowadays all, all are using in your mobile phone then uh, to consider to taking the particular person, one person, then the particular person is only using for to connecting more IoT devices. Uh, now I am using mobile phone, uh, then use, used for different mobile phones, and then laptop, same thing to connect the laptop, and then to connect the uh, uh, smart TV or anything. Okay, so the connecting device is more more high in in nowadays. Okay, so after 2025 or anything, then most of uh, in your home or anything. All are implemented into IoT. Okay, so it's possible. So in the, in recent technologies, all are, uh, then most of the things to implemented in IoT like smart bulbs also available, and then uh, Alexa, it's Echo Dot. Okay, uh, then smart TV, 
and then there are different okay so smart cars so all are you all are implemented then nowadays and then most of the things has to implementing for to control the wi-fi and then cctv camera also through wi-fi easily uh, then then previous days uh, then the cctv camera has to fix in to monitor the particular places only but now in this reason in this recent days the, the cctv camera through fix in wi-fi every data has to transfer through wi-fi and then easily if any places to access and then monitoring through then go to enter in your uh, particular clouds okay so it's also possible in, in in our recent technologies okay so it's a current status and then futures of iot then it's to consider further then now connecting devices for particular person 50 world population is 7.6 but connecting devices 50 billion okay so it's reaching for more than nine or eight uh, more than eight per eight okay so it's the connecting per person 6.58 devices through per particular persons only okay so uh, to to consider my me okay so uh, now i am using laptop and then uh, mobile phone uh, another mobile phone so to per particular persons almost using for six devices at the particular iot iot things okay so uh, it's a uh, iot has to reach the high marketing for 2014 only the, at the time only the most of the uh, software companies has to build it, build that, okay. So then how to connect to that, it's one of the functions and how to connect and how to data has to transfer it. Okay, so it's one of the main example. So uh, for example, to consider smart cities and then smart hospitals and then smart highways and then smart factories or anything. So all data has to transfer through cloud. If any places to access the and then to monitoring, like uh, smart cities like us to control the to communicate with one uh, one one home to another home or uh, easily to uh, access the smart street light or anything to access the cctv camera in our floor and then same thing okay so easily to monitoring and then uh, smart hospitals like us uh, to monitor the patient details patient details through any places okay so uh, to consider the particular hospital and then to track the medicines or anything it's in this particular places the particular medicine this is available or not easy to monitoring and then smart highways like as uh, transportation okay so to monitor the particular transport okay so the, that particular uh, track it's one of the tracking through iot the next one is a smart factories to monitor the uh, particular factories who is working or not okay so then the robot is working or the uh, particular human is working or not easy to monitor so all data, all data has to transmit through cloud and then easily to access the any places. Okay, so it can't, uh, it did not do, it can't any restrictions to operate the IoT for any uh, applications. Okay, so easily to easily to connecting and easily your data has to monitoring and then controlling for any places. So next one is these are the progress index and then economic expert ratio. So in the progress index like as then after 2014 only it's reached the high play, high connecting devices to implement it for any devices smart door and then smart cars uh, then sm uh, smart home and then uh, smart fridges or anything tv smart tv smart bulb smart camera smart traffic light there are anything okay so it's most then the ratio is more than high okay so it's a growth of IOT concept. So it's a economic expert ratio. Uh, then the for industry, it's in the economic expert ratio depends on this industry. Uh, then which industry is used for I uh, most of the most of the industries used for IOT concepts like as the manufacturing industry mo mostly used. And then this ratio is accepted for uh, after 2014. Okay, so 2014-15 and then till 2019s only. Okay. So uh, at the time only 2014 manufacturing industries, most of the IoT concepts are used like uh, then same thing transport and then information, whole trades and then there are, these are the economic expert ratio depends on this industries, okay. So this, uh, this is the growth of an IoT. So say next one is there, then how to implement the IoT, then the process, it is a process. First one is a collections of data. So the collections of data from using sensor okay so sensor to using any sensors like uh, using any sensors like gas sensor temperature sensor or anything okay so gyroscope means or anything 
so sensors to collect the data okay to collect the uh, data to transmit the uh, then next to collecting the next one is the communica communication communication means then to communicate to one server to another server using gateway okay so server means then one network to another network you are using one network but uh, that person using another one network then how to communicate so to uh, using gateway to create uh, gateway is mainly used to connect the both servers okay so uh, after to connect the uh, connecting one device to another device to create the, uh, to uh, communicate to create the uh, it's a way of okay so it's uh, a bridge of to connect the one network to another network the next one is the analysis so analysis is the, uh, then after to communicating from one device to another device receiving this data the directly to send the cloud or through uh, directly to send the cloud or through any protocols okay so mqtt or tcp to ip or udp okay so or anything there are using different protocols okay so in this different protocols used for uh, running into different different functions okay so for example all are using uh, nowadays all are using mail right G email then the email is also running into depends on one protocol smtp protocol simple mail trans uh, Sim simple mail transmit protocol okay transfer protocol in, in this protocol mainly access for the using for uh, to transmit and then receiving this mail only okay so same thing mqtt protocol message queuing telemetry transport every uh, normal message like uh, to taking in your internet messages like facebook instagram then uh, whatsapp twitter or anything so your data has to transmitting and receiving depends on this mqtt protocols only okay so after analyzing then to execute the act act is mean for act on one device based on another device information so uh, that inf uh, that device has to pass the information the next act means to control or monitoring so it depends on your applications okay so to control in your home fan or anything uh, home fans light or anything means it's one of the action okay so to create the action like uh, on and off or always to monitor it's one of the action so to uh, continuously to monitoring okay so depends on this application act so this is the process of to build an iot so next one is the applications then uh, applications of iot first one is the smart internet smart internet like uh, dip, uh, implemented into schools then how to implement the schools means then uh, to create the server easily your data has to monitoring through a, to build in any places through augmented reality or uh, libraries to track the books okay so using library means to track the books and then uh, to build an uh, school buses okay so to track the location in the particular places bus is available or not then same thing uh, play station uh, like sp sports room or anything okay so attendance monitoring like students and then stop uh, then same thing to playing areas and then smart classes then smart board or anything okay so to build to cleaning robot uh, then uh, to create the any function to build an iot in smart schools okay so this is one of the application next another one is a healthcare application already i told right so the patient monitoring if any places uh, doctor has to monitoring continuously in the particular patient details so it's also possible then doctor in one places but patient in another one places doctor in another one place so easily your data has to transmitting so to continuously to read the ecg wave ecg ecg then pulse and then heartbeat or any any data okay so if any patient is critical to continuously to uh, go to the hospitals or anything or otherwise then uh, continuously the doctor has to monitoring for patient details means it's possible or otherwise then already previous uh, prescription already stored okay so easily to if any uh, then you are going to another hospital then to consult another one doctor means then uh, easily to check the particular prescription which tablets are used which medicines but uh, they are given or anything it's also possible through an healthcare application okay so or otherwise to implement it for any, uh, to implement it for any uh, another like uh, medical medicine tracking okay so the particular places then particular uh, medical particular medical then particular medicine is available or available or not so it's also as possible okay so next one is a smart cities to build an one particular area okay so whole city then particular area has to build and smart cities 
then smart camera then to access the uh, then the camera has to easily to access the through wifi and then to communicate from one one home to another home then to control the home appliances so these are the smart cities okay so same thing to control the smart street light so through wifi or anything okay so next one is the agriculture so then how to build an agriculture through iot iot concept means then uh, to monitor the soil uh, to uh, to monitor the soil moisture level then humidity level temperature level so it depends on uh, then the crop okay so it's also has to predicting so the message has to the once the soil moisture the soil content or moisture content is very low then the message the message has to sending particular authorized persons particular owner owner uh, owner mail or anything through our normal messages like whatsapp or anything so it's also as possible or otherwise to control it, to control uh, pump at the particular time if any places to control the pump it, on a turn on and turn off the pump it, it's also possible for the agriculture okay next one is uh, then same thing smart home then how to build it then the uh, to control the automations okay so it's uh, in your daily life okay so once to uh, wake up in your particular time so every data has to transmitting uh, the, uh, once to uh, wake up in uh, wake up in this particular time then in your daily rot uh, daily life routine uh, first to make the coffee then data has to send to uh, turn on the turn on the heater or playing songs then the particular time the message has to sending then the remaining or anything okay so the music to control the air conditioner or smart media or smart appliances to control light uh, to control the video stream to control the uh, wifi so sorry cctv camera and then uh, easily to build an home security in then if any person if any other, uh, in front of camera to break the then in front of home to break the door or anything then to capture the images to transmit the mail it's also possible for the home appliances okay so sorry smart homes so next one is it is one of the connecting cars through one uh, it's also has to implemented into one car to another car the like uh, if any places then the car has to lock or to play the music then um, map has to shared from one car to another car for the particular ranges to send the message okay so uh, automatic light then the camera if any uh, if any other uh, if any another person to break the car car windows means uh, then ca camera capture the image to transmit the particular nearest police station or anything through iot okay so this is one of the concept it's a brief explanation for then how to connecting cars from one one signal to another signal or anything so okay so using iot concept then to build an ambulance to build an ambulance okay then how to build the ambulance using uh, road sign road sign signal okay so traffic sign so if the particular land has to block it, particular land has to block so if the particular land uh, the particular land is a red signal but then the ambulance has ambulance has coming means automatically the signal has changing through directed the ambulance uh, sound or signal okay so it's also as possible to build and connecting cars or anything then next one is safety and security already i told then to break the cars or uh, driver drowsiness uh, if any uh, blind spot assistance through then in front of car or in front of vehicle driver has a blind spot okay so if any obstacles is directed then sensors to collect the data to transmit the uh, driver okay so to create the beep or anything okay next one is a traffic management it's also possible then uh, the traffic management system is ready to built in uh, all data to, to to connect the four lane okay so uh, every every lane videos has to sending through particular web page okay so easily if any places to easy to access the camera uh, yeah, access the web page so to monitor the particular lane is available or not easily to reduce the traffic okay so to take another lane then go to easily easily to move for forward okay so it's uh, using this traffic management in uh, in iot concept is easily to reduce the traffic management okay next one is says transport to track the details like uh, to track the luggage or anything easily easily to monitoring for smart transportation so next for industrial applications like to control the robot or to control the uh, to monitor the 
uh, workers details or to store the worker worker data okay so these are all are possible to uh, to store the cloud okay in industrial applications like uh, to create the home automation uh, sorry to create the automation cars and then automation funds uh, applications so these are the possible to implement the iot in industrial applications okay so these are the so it's meaning for uh, these are all meaning for machine to machine communication so machine to machine communication means without the human machine to machine interacting for like uh, automatically mobile uh, mobile to to control mobile to fan or anything okay so automatically without the human machine to machine interaction it's a to build an iot okay so it's a meaning of error so welcome to new era is meaning for it's a short procedure to introduce the, to build an iot okay so it's a dimension like us if any places and then any time and then any things easy to build an iot okay so it cannot any restrictions for uh, to take the time on the move indoors and then outdoors day time night time or any time uh, then if any time the data uh, if any time to build an iot it's possible for example same the places also okay so indoor outdoor places on the move then pcs or anything the same thing things uh, like uh, any things to build uh, controller mobile phone laptop then uh, to control from uh, laptop to mobile and then uh, or human to any things or things to things or otherwise human to human it's also possible okay so these are the basic structures to build an iot so next one is a clouds so uh, which which types of clouds are using in iot means there are using different clouds to uh, different cloud has to provide the in this embedded system most of the clouds to provide the to build an iot okay so like things big amazon web service cisco uh, microsoft or azure thinker uh, thinker io ka okay uh, then up dots so there are most of the really so most of the platforms to provide the to build an iot so these are all, these all are in open source cloud okay so the google also google also google is one of the open source cloud okay so if any uh, op, uh, difference between open, open source cloud and then payment cloud means uh, if any time to uh, to access to open the open the cloud to monitor the data and then store the data but uh, payment cloud if that particular restriction time only duration only okay so for example netflix netflix is one of the cloud okay so once to open your account then using the particular once to pay the amount then go to watch the movies otherwise the movie, uh, then the page can't be entered okay so it's a payment cloud these are all in open source cloud so the open source cl uh, payment clouds also available in embedded system like amazon web service also open source cloud okay ibm watson so these are uh, uh, aws and then ibm watson the both are in payment cloud once to pay the pay the money to access the cloud or otherwise the data can't be accessing so next then how to uh, which hardwares are used to build an iot so uh, which hardwares are used means like there are using different hardwares like uh, iot like raspberry pi pigeon board board arduino modern cu intel edison then arm 7 then arm 7 mini pro okay so arm cortex using serial communication to data has data has to transferring through iot okay so there are different uh, are otherwise using modules are used okay so different modules like wifi modules like es8266 okay so there are different modules uh, modules also available in actually okay so these are the hardware to built an iot so next in this classes so next then go to these are the basics of embedded system and then basics of iot so next then uh, go to the hardware okay then uh, which hardwares are used so now i am used the hardware for arduino hardware so why i am selecting this arduino means arduino it is one of it is a open source hardware easily to build an iot okay so then the program is very simple and then beginners as easily to learn what is an iot then what is an embedded system so easily to communicate so easy to is uh, easy to use okay so it's uh, it's accepted for the mo more libraries and then uh, to create the more projects and then to create the more prototypes 
okay so that purpose only i am selecting this arduino controller okay so anybody know for any other controller anybody using anybody used any controller okay so arduino uh, arduino platform offers uh, offers a open source hardware and then software okay so the software is a open source uh, then software is a arduino ide software so directly go to google it arduino ide software so it's open source directly to download the software then go to install to build the iot concept okay so it's, it's easy to use and then uh, to create the more project beginners is easy to learn and then using this language c okay embedded c so why using embedded uh, then the concept is c but then to build an embedded system uh, iot means embedded c okay okay clear so the what is an open source means it's uh, when it is said that arduino is a open source okay so arduino is a open source means the hardware and then to build an hardware and then to build an software it it's to give freely okay so available can uh, if anyone can go to google it to download the arduino software in freely okay so most of the comp most of the software to uh, wants to access the means to pay the money at the time only to get the license or otherwise then the software cannot be used but arduino so directly go to download it to use the arduino software okay so it's it's to give free, fully freely for the uh, beginners for okay so the next one is the why arduinos are used so this is the arduino controller so why arduinos are used means arduino provides many types of boards uh, then usually for uh, used for various applications like various types of boards like as there are different mi um, different microcontroller boards are launched in iot uh, arduino arduino okay so arduino nano arduino mega lilypad nano ethernet pro mini so there are different different controllers are used so why using different controllers means uh, so used for to build in various applications okay so arduino is also provided for uh, provided for the own softwares and then uh, which software means arduino ide okay so ide is mentioned for integrated development environment so which is free to download for the arduino website and then use it easy to use it and the main thing uh, it supported for many library okay so it supported for many library are provided with the software then the large number of libraries to develop development for the people developed by the people okay so uh, then same thing to interact with the cross platform like as then arduino to python or arduino to matlab or arduino to another any software okay so it's a cross platform to accept the cross platform so uh, it can be the library has easy to access and uh, easy to use easy to download and then easy to quick uh, quick development process so that purpose only using uh, that purpose only now i am selecting this arduino controller okay uh, and the main thing uh, in this arduino has to build uh, arduino has to build the lack of uh, lack lacks of technologies and then to interface to many modules uh, and then to create the more knowledge then how to build then, uh, then how to write the program then how to connect to the sensor then how to uh, write the program then how to access the uh, actuators or anything okay so it's the main one easy to uh, it's a user user has user has to interact with the friendly for that particular controller okay so next then so these are the arduino controller then uh, next i could i give to show then what is the architecture of arduino okay so arduino architect architecture so first one is there so first arduino first one is a usb plug so usb plug is mainly used to to connect the laptop and then Con, uh, Arduino. Okay, so uh, to give its main thing to give the power supplies also. Okay, so it has accepted the input power supply 5 voltage only. So in this laptops also to give the output power uh, output voltage 5 voltage only. Okay, 
so yeah, yeah you, your every data has to transmitting through usb port so that purpose only using this usb plug so next one is here dc power jack dc power jack is used to to give the power supply for directly to give the power plug okay uh, plug point so use the adapter uh, 9 voltage to 12 voltage adapter so it's maximum uh, then the arduino controls maximum accept the input voltage 5 voltage to minimum 5 voltage to maximum 12 voltage okay so to give more voltage means the controller has to bulge so it's uh, once the controller has to bulge it means it cannot be working okay so uh, next one is the ic it's the ic in this ic is name of atmega 328 ic it's a 28 pins ic okay so in this right side 14 pin and then left side 14 pins are used so 14 uh, in this 28 pins has to connecting in in, in in this 28 pins has to connecting in then the GPO pins like uh, digital GPO pins and then analog GPO pins and then power supply ports okay so uh, in this IC is name of Satmeha 328 IC okay so next another one is here so next another one is here GPIO pins then GPIO, GPIO is meaning for general purpose input output pins okay so each pin has to access, uh, each pin has to to set the mode of input mode and then output mode it's possible okay so for example to take the sixth pin or seventh pin or any pin each pin has to access the input mode and then output mode okay so these are the gpo pin digital gpo pins next another one is here analog gpo pins okay so analog gpo pins is meaning for analog sensor directly to connect at the analog sensor so next another one is here uh, analog reference pin analog reference pin is used to, to give the analog reference voltage to convert the uh, to convert to drop the voltage uh, sorry to use it the analog analog volt an, analog digital output okay so adc using adc converter so next another one is here so next another one is here Okay, so ne next one is the next one is the regulator. So the regulator there are using two types of regulator. One is a 5 voltage regulator. The next one is a 3.3 voltage regulator. So why regulators are used in uh, Arduino controller means to drop the voltage. Okay, so for example to give the input power supply. So but controller has to give the output power supply 5 voltage only. It has accepted the input voltage 9, uh, 5 to 9 voltage. But controller has to send the output voltage 5 voltage only for the each pin okay so for uh, seventh pin are to consider general uh, gpo pins of digital or analog so each pin has to send the voltage 5 voltage only okay but to it accept a 9 voltage then how to convert the voltage using regulator to drop the voltage for 9 voltage to 12 volt 9 voltage to 5 voltage or uh, 5 voltage to 3.3 voltage or 9 voltage to 3.3 voltage after converting then the voltage has to passing to particular pins and then power supply ports okay so the power supply port is available 5 volt uh, 5 voltage or ground pins and then v in pin consists for 3.3 voltage or any voltage reference has to giving next one another one is a 3.3 voltage pin okay so next another one is a, in, in this digital pin there are 14 digital pins are used 0 to 14 digital pins digital gpo pins then uh, 6 analog gpo pins are used okay so in this 14 pins, uh, 0 pin and then first pin additionally added for additional function for serial communication. Okay, so 0 pin act as receiver and then first pin act as transmitter. It acts as the inbuilt serial communication pins. Okay, so inbuilt serial communication pins like as every data has to transmitting through wireless to create an WSN function. Okay, so 0 pin act as trans receiver and then first pin act as transmitter. At the same thing, uh, another 6 pins. Okay, so then the 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and then 11. So this this 6 pins only to additionally added for PWM function. So PWM function means uh, pulse width modulation. In this technique, it's used to, to drop the pulse time for the particular voltage. Okay, so to give the additional voltage is high and low. Okay, so high means 5 voltage has passed, 0 means low. Okay, uh, so to drop the pulse time means to create the ba uh, bandwidth. Okay, so pulse to drop the pulse so uh, for example 0 to 1 voltage or 0 to 2 voltage 2.5 voltage 3 voltage it's possible to using pwm function so in this pwm function is mainly used to to control the light intensity or uh, 
motor speed speed control motor speed control and then to uh, de decreasing then transformer step up to step down transformer so this functional purpose used for the pwm techniques okay so next another so these are the next one is a reset button then this reset button is used to to restart the controller once then the controller cannot be work properly working means wants to restart then the program has uh, run with the starting start to ending okay so uh, these are the basic architectures of arduino ide Ad arduino controller now i am using this controller for arduino uno controller okay so next then uh, how to download the so these are the specifications like operating voltage 5 voltage then input to give the 7 to 12 voltage or otherwise using 5 voltage to 12 voltage okay so input voltage limits 6 to 12 20 voltage only okay so there are these pins 14 pins and then uh, in this 14 pin 6 pins used for pwm functions and another 2 pins used for serial communication next another one is the analog analog input pins used for 6 pins and then uh, to give the input current dc current 40 milliampere for 3.3 voltages 50 milliampere and then the flash memory using this memory for 32 kb at mega 328 ic okay it acts as the bootloader okay sram is a 2 kb and then ee from is 1 kb then the clock speed clock, spe clock speed is a 60 megahertz so what is clock speed means then the crystal oscillator then the crystal oscillator is mainly used to, uh, to maintain the constant frequency to give an, uh, to maintain the frequency of input power supply okay so uh, once the power supply is high or low to maintain the constant frequency for 60 megahertz 16 megahertz okay so it's a it, it, it is a crystal oscillator so these are the pin description uh, so the IC, IC description there are 28 pins IC and this 28 pin has to connecting in for uh, digital pins and then uh, two crystal oscillator and then two ground pin two 5 voltage power supply one analog reference uh, two crystal oscillator then another 14 digital pins and then six analog pins okay so each 28 pin has to connecting for separate separate functions so this is the controller controller internal architecture so in this controller has to in, in, uh, inbuilt function as used for flash memory e from timers counters peripherals and then analog comparator analog to uh, adc converter so in this arduino controller a adc functions already inbuilt okay so directly to sensor so uh, adc functions already inbuilt in this particular pins okay so directly to connect the sensors to read the digital values okay so uh, adc converter and then interrupt then the serial communication you want like us then the inbuilt serial communication pins right zero pin and then first pin so next one is the io lines io lines is meaning for gpio pins input output lines so next then how to start the arduino so then the then directly go to google it then go to the arduino uh, arduino page then uh, to download the arduino software so arduino ide so after downloading then to install the arduino software so after installing then go to then after install then go to click the software uh, software icon so this is the front page okay so it's a arduino ide software then first one is a menu button Okay, the menu button is mainly used to uh, then the in this menu button is mainly used to, to create the sketches uh, to add the library to uh, to create the help functions to to set the tools and then to uh, to connect the serial ports to edit the pages or zoom in or zoom out so that particular purpose using for the menu menu bar next one is a button bar so button bar is used to to uh, button bars is used to, to convert the to the upload the program or to compile the program okay so to uh, watch the to display the outputs so that that purpose only using this button bars okay so there are six types of button bars used here. in this left side five buttons are five button and then right side one buttons are used here. so the first button okay so this button bars is mainly used to to uh, upload the program and then compile the program to create the sketch so that particular purpose are used here. So first one is a tick mark, right? So tick mark is used to, to check the compilation error. So once to write the program, to check the program is error or not. If any error means, then the particular error has to show in status bar. Okay, so once uh, then the status message has declared once done compiling or done uploading. Second one is there to upload the program to the Arduino controller using through USB cable. Okay. So next another one is a shortcut key uh, shortcut to create the shortcut sketchy. 
so next another one is here to uh, shortcut key of example program so next another one is here to save the sketch to save the file example sketch then the right side one button bar is available it is here serial monitor okay so the serial monitor is used to to receive serial data from the board and then arduino ide software okay then how the data has to then how the data has to transmitting and receiving through usb cable so once to dump uh, once to upload the program in our controller okay to store the memory so the controller to control the data and then uh, sensors data okay so the sensors data, then how to display the output sensors output through usb through serial monitor or otherwise to ex, uh, to fix the external displays or otherwise to monitor in serial uh, serial displays okay so serial monitor so next one is a input and edit area to write the whole program main program and the next one is a status bar status bar is used to status bar is used to uh, to declare the status message live status okay so once the program is if the program edit, there are three types of status message declare one is a uh, live current status done uploading or done compiling or if any error okay so the particular error has to declare or otherwise uh, another one is a serial port connection uh, wrong serial port and then wrong board connection okay so these types of uh, status message has to declare in status bar so next one is a program notification area program notification area is used to to display the uh, storing uh, memory storing or uh, then the file path location so these types of messages to declare in program notification area okay so next one is so these are the status messages one is a uh, uploading work or wrong uh, uploading work plus uh, done uploading or done compiling then next one is a wrong serial port selection wrong serial port selection means then uh, in in in, the, in your laptop we are using different multiple ports okay so different multiple usb ports so wants to uh, uh, to select a wrong serial port means then the program cannot be uh, sending and then receiving through usb okay so next one is a wrong board selection this arduino has to available in different boards different uh, different types of boards are used like arduino even one and wants to write the program in uh, another controller to connect to select the another one board means the program cannot be dumped in our controller okay so the pins cannot be accepted then how to select the board and then port okay then how to select the board and then port means then open the arduino id software so once again i show the output okay then how to select the serial port and then serial board connection so first to connect the board then first go to click the tools then in your menu button then go to selected the board okay so now i am using this board for arduino you know there are the different arduino packages available arduino mega arduino leno pad ethernet pro mini bt usb pro mini so arduino pro or pro mini okay so the different types of boards are used in your different applications okay so now i am using this board for arduino you know okay so next another one is a port so then this port connection is used to yeah, in your say usb port okay so uh, once to connect the board okay so i show the output so uh, now, now i did not connect the serial port uh, usb port okay so in your in controller so the port is not visible once i connected my controller it the port is available then go to tools so the port is available it's a communication port for uh, through usb cable okay so it's a communication port once to add the port uh, port and board next go to the program okay then how to write the program it's a basic uh, today we are discussed basic programs only okay so uh, then you, uh, then how to write the program then how to connect the sensor then how to uh, then how to collect the data in using sensors okay so tomorrow we are implemented into iot concept then how to write the program so first one the code is a case sensitive so why the code is case sensitive means using difference of keywords and then uh, difference of logics are used different logics are used okay so the keywords is mentioned for so in set of functions are used like uh, you, you, you did not using any keywords means 
then the co uh, then the program can be shown to error okay so that the, that is the meaning for code is case sensitive so next one is here after end of the statement to put on the semicolon okay so you are using this language c language only so uh, end of the c to put on the semicolon so after so then to give the particular uh, to give the command for particular line means use the command double black stress or otherwise to give the, uh, to give the one uh, to give the command in one particular paragraph means starting to ending okay so uh, starting with uh, slash star and then ending ending line star and then black stress to give the command for one particular paragraph or otherwise to give the particular line means double black stress okay so uh, next to go for the program structures in this program structure it's a default structure one is a setup and another one is a loop it's a two uh, two default setup uh, structure functions is available so next uh, next we are discussed what is void setup and then what is void loop so in this program structure void setup is used to, to initialize the variable pin numbers and then pin uh, pin number and then set of modes and then uh, to set the library and uh, so if any if uh, if to to initiate any pin numbers okay so uh, that particular purpose only used for the void setup so next one is uh, in this void setup is running into single time only okay so uh, in this run single time wants to start the program to set the pin numbers for example using digital pin or analog pin to set the pin number uh, then directly go to enter the void loop okay so void loop is used to to write the main program okay so to control fan or anything to control light or it's a infinite loop okay so while loop is uh, why while loop is a infinite loop means in this embedded system if any time to run then the process has to flow uh, go to flow okay so once to break it means it's not an embedded system okay so for example to take the digital watch or phone or laptop or anything then then go to access the particular places it's running into infinite structures okay so it's meaning uh, it's a if write to main program instead of while loop okay so while loop is a infinite loop to write the main program okay so it's clear difference between void setup and then void loop void setup is used to to initiate the pin number modes and then set of variables or anything okay void loop to write the whole main program okay so next to go to the program okay so next to go to the set of operations digital io functions okay so uh, not for digital io digital and then uh, analog ios okay so what is digital io and then what is analog io mean digital io is a discrete output and analog io is a uh, infinite output okay so then how to set the modes then how to select the pin then uh, which commands are used which uh, which commands are used for digital and then analog ios okay so in the, uh, the uh, it's a main major four four commands only used to do built and iot to control any sensor okay so, hello you yeah, please turn off your mic operation to build the uh, embed system okay so to uh, control and then to monitor the data okay then first uh, how to select the pin then uh, how to select the mode okay so uh, how to select the first then instead of void setup to set the pin mode okay so pin mode pin to select any digital pins or any analog pin okay to select the any pins and then mode mode for depends on the sensors uh, few sensors act as digital and then few sensors act as analog or otherwise actuate as fully running into output modes only okay so it's meaning for input and then output to uh, to send the data or to receive the data so to trans uh, input or output mode okay so to set up modes and uh, to set the modes depends on this sensors okay so pin mode mode is here input mode or output mode okay so first we have discussed the digital digital io okay so digital io means first to set the pin number so the mode to set the pin number 
the mode is there into output mode the mode is output means to select any one pin number like digital io okay 0 to 13 pin to select any one pin the mode is output means to write the condition digital write to select the pin number and then to give the value to write the condition high or low high mean high voltage is passing pass it to the particular pin and then low means zero voltage can be pass uh, zero voltage has been passing okay so high uh, for example to control the light okay so the mode is output means then to it will give the high led on low means led off okay so it's the meaning of digital write to write the condition okay so as or otherwise using pin mode pin is a digital pin the mode is input the mode is input means use the command digital read to read the pin number okay so sensors to read the say values and then after reading this value to transmit to the controller to read the pin number okay so to then the values also high and low only okay so the values is then the values is high means the values is one low means the values is zero so next uh, analog io analog io is meaning for pin mode the pin is a analog pin to select a not to a by to select any one pin number so it's a default mode okay so analog output uh, analog analog in, analog output is a like infinite loop okay so it's a, it's continuously to read okay so the mode is a input it's continuously to read the uh, to read the pin number so use the command analog read to read the pin number after the value has to store it to variables or anything okay so these are the basic structures to build an embedded system okay to write the arduino so it's a digital io and then analog io the next one is a timing arduino timing so arduino timing is used to to uh, to pass it the ones to pass the program in using this arduino timing okay so there are two types of mode uh, functions to use to one is a delay and another one is a delay microsecond then how to give the delay second means using delay microsecond one second means uh, it's a time is considered for to pass the program in one second only okay or otherwise uh, delay microseconds thousand to enter the thousand means in this program is pausing one second okay sorry one millisecond thousand microsecond equal to one millisecond okay so one thousand millisecond equal to one second so it is a time uh, i do not timing i do not timing okay so use it to delay use it to delay functions one is a delay and another one is a delay microsecond okay so delay is used for in this end in, in this center of this uh, set of bracket to enter one means the program is pausing into one millisecond or otherwise to enter thousand thousand means the program is pausing into one seconds okay so these are the arduino timing so next one is what is analog and then what is digital so digital has two values only zeros and ones one means on and then zero means high or low okay so zero means low or off so next one is the analog input so then how to convert the using adc converter then how to convert the ad analog to digital value so these are the concept okay so analog has to give the input to pass the converter using low pass filter and then sampling and quantization value quantization process after after to complete the process to convert the binary values for zeros and ones to output output is a digital value okay so binary output like as any value digital values like 0 to uh, 10 or anything 0 to 9 okay so after uh, using using analog si analog signal is a continuous signal so uh, sampling signal is there to convert the binary value after sampling and quantization to process the binaries okay so 0 0 0 0 0 1 so it's a process of sampling and quantization after converting the value then you have to send to the binary output in uh, controller has to get the input of binary input for the analog value okay so next one is the remaining uh, remember for analog in analog pins is the input six input pins only so next go to the program okay then how to write the program then first first program we are discussed led blinking okay so uh, first we are discussed digital output okay digital output uh, digital output function so led led has two end one is a anode and then cathode uh, so in this LED is mainly used then how to consider the anode and then positive means then this uh, lead to right so LED is one is a positive terminal then one end is a positive and another one is a negative okay so the positive and directly to connect the pin number negative one directly to connect the ground pin okay then how to write the condition 
then how to write the condition means then pin mode set in the pin pin mode set in the pin output okay so the pin mode set in the pin output means uh, so the mode is the output so why the mode is output means the led turn on to write the condition okay so high or low okay so the mode is output to select the to select any digital pin okay so next is digital right that is the pin high to give few delay seconds so why using one um, one uh, thousand delay seconds means so the state can be visible okay so if program has run executing within fraction of seconds okay so but human cannot be visible for the particular status uh, particular mode okay so high uh, high status or low state human cannot be visible once to give the delay seconds when the program is pausing then the state can be visible easily okay so once to give the high means led turn on to give low means led turn off okay so it's continuously running for the while loop high low then after one second high after one second slow it's continuously running okay so it's a circuit connection then how to connect to the led okay so one in positive directly to connect positive and another one directly to connect to ground okay clear so once and i show the output using simulation okay so there are two types of simulations are used one is a thinker card for online then another one is a protest through offline okay then how to write the program first to set the pin m using caps okay so m using caps so the color has changing into orange color so next to select the any one pin number to enter the mode output okay so next to write the condition digital w write in caps so using same pin number the mode now the led has to turn on so use the command hi enter delay second okay so delay thousand is meaning for one second program is pausing into one second same digital right fifth pin comma low delay thousand okay so it's continuously running wants to compile the program then go to compile the program to save the file first to save the file then go to compile the program okay after done compiling okay then how to then show the output means then i once and wait i show the output in simulation then first sign up in your first sign up in your account in uh, thinker card after sign up then go to sign in to enter the page okay so to enter the page then to uh, then go to create the circuit then go to create new circuit okay so select arduino to select the controller okay then just copy the code to select the pin number pin number is a fifth pin right to select the fifth pin the one in directly to connect the positive supply okay so uh, to give the high voltage so to give the condition high high means in the particular pin passing to high voltage so connect the ground okay ground pin of arduino then go to run okay so fifth pin the mode is output then fifth pin high and then fifth pin low okay then go to start the simulation
okay it's visible led turn on so one sense right led turn on after one sense led turn off okay okay so it's act as digital output okay so uh, the mode is output next we have discussed uh, digital input okay so uh, digital input functions used to to read the data from sensors or uh, from any devices through uh, sensors or any devices like or any modules like uh, switch or keypad or anything okay so otherwise to read the sensors like ir sensor or anything okay so uh, in this main thing once and wait okay so we need to configure digital pins as input then arduino are set as a digital input as default okay so there is no need to configure the uh, there is no need to configure the pin of digital pin then how to then uh, how to configure the pins as digital input means so same connection okay so wait so wants to stop the simulation so next program we have discussed then switch then uh, switch is act as the digital okay so wants to turn on or turn off then user has to give one so wants to press the switch then ld uh, ldr to consider in your home okay so in your home appliances okay wants to pu uh, put on the switch uh, turn on the switch uh, any appliances like uh, light or anything on and off okay so in the switches there are different types of switches used for uh, users for in electronic switches okay so one is a uh, single pole and then single throw like single pole and then single throw means so switch is one and then uh, output actuator is one okay so single pole and then single throw so same thing double pole and then single throw double pole dp dp dt switch okay so dp st switch is meaning for double pole and then single throw you know this two way switch so if any places to access one place is turn on and another place is turn turn off okay so it's a two way switch so it's a two way switch is meaning for double pole but single throw to control the one L, one light only okay so but two way in this electronic switch is mainly used in this switch is meaning for mechanical switch or electronic switch electronic switches consider for dp dt switch sp st switch or dp st switch or st dp uh, st dt switch there are different types of switches are used okay so pressure switch dog uh, toggle switches there are different types of switches are using so but concept is a main one it's uh, running into digital okay so first to read the data from the uh, switch value then after read the value the data is stored into variable okay so after uh, reading this condition we can read the data from gpo pins using digital read function so after reading this data then to print the values in any any displays okay so in this program we have discussed using switch okay to control the led wants to press the switch led turn on at the same time to press the switch led turn off then how to write the condition to select a two pin modes one is one actor switch and another one actors led okay so uh, it's a default uh, then uh, digital input so one is a digital input first to read the condition digital read to read the pin mode for the switch so to read the switch state on state or off state okay so uh, after read the switch then to give the condition using conditional statement okay so if using if statement to write the once the switch is high the led turn on or otherwise then switch is value is low led turn off okay so this is a circuit connection to connect the led and then switch okay so button so this button has two switches okay so in this button has four leg one is a positive and another one is a negative so next one is a data pin okay so one is positive and the neg uh, next one is a ground next one is a data pin the same thing to connect the led one end directly to connect the ground next another one directly to connect the pin mode so this is a circuit connection of to control the led using switch okay so switch or button or anything okay so then go to go to the program so once and wait stay online
ओके सो नेक्स्ट देन देन हाउ टू कनेक्टेड द स्विच ओके देन देन हाउ टू कनेक्टेड देन हाउ टू कनेक्ट द स्विच सो द बटन then go to the controller okay so it's a switch button okay so once to press the switch so the data has to send into second pin to read the input okay so then go to the code then the button has to connecting in second pin and then then the 13th pin then led has to connecting in 13th pin okay so to read the button state so first to set the pin mode for uh, button second pin is a input and then 13th pin is output for uh, led so next another one is here it's a button led okay so to read the first to read the button state okay so uh, how to read the button state means to re- use the condition digital read then to read the pin number second pin so that the value has to stored into button state okay so next to check the condition so once uh, if the ch- if button is pressed okay so if button is pressed means the value is high so to read the pin number to check the condition the value is high means then to give already to give the condition the both value so used the comparison condition button set is equal to equal to high led turn on digital right 13th pin high or otherwise else LED turn off. Okay, then go to start the simulation. Okay, to start the simulation, once to press the button, LED turn on. Okay, clear. So next to press the button. LED turn off. Okay. All of it clear. Is it clear? Okay. So next, then go to the sensors. So next, go to the sensors. Then what is sensors? Sensors to read the physical pa- uh, sensors to read the physical data. Okay. So to read the environmental data, then to convert to the digital values okay so after convert the digital values then to uh, sorry for digital values to electrical signal okay so on same way so the sensors then to read the physical physical data and convert to the electrical signal okay so it meant for to collect the raw data to transmit to the controller okay so it's main purpose using for the sensors there are different types of sensors used so 
so all are in the sensors all are using in your daily life like uh, for example to taking in your mobile phone so ma so many sensors are used like proximity sensor slide sensor uh, then uh, proximity sensor light sensor uh, touch sensor okay so fingerprint sensor navigation sensor gyroscope sensor there are different types of sensors are used in your mobile phones okay so uh, why using different types of sensors in particular devices means to uh, uh, to read the particular data only for fingerprint fingerprint sensors used to to read the fingerprint data only okay so same thing the gyroscope and then uh, light sensor light sensor is used to to light the uh, to read the intensity of light okay so the light is more high uh, then the automatically to change the brightness okay so or otherwise if the light is very low a light intensity is very low so automatically uh, mobile brightness is very low so it is one of the condition okay so it's to create the automations so using sensors there are different types of sensors like magnetic and electric field sensor resistant heat sensor chemical sensor force sensor gas sensor so there are different types of sensors we are used to. okay so first we are discussed then difference between for analog and then digital sensor so digital sensor to read the values is zeros and ones only okay so to read the values then switches right so this is one of the sensor okay so switch and then keep at this are all the sensor to read the particular data so once the values is zero or otherwise one values is one but analog sensor analog sensor is the uh, to read the data it's uh, send the input values is continuously okay so there are different types of sensor then temperature sensor and then ldr sensor mem sensor Okay, so to convert the digital value and then to transmit the controller. Okay, so next then the analog sensor which produces the continuous output signal. So next to go to then first we have discussed ultrasonic sensor. So anybody know what is an ultrasonic sensor? So the ultrasonic sensor is mainly used to to, uh, to measure the distance and then to measure uh, to detect the obstacles. Okay, so that that particular purpose only using this ultrasonic sensor. Then how it's working? Then how it's working means then it's act as the transmitter and then receiver. It has two speaker. So transmitter to transmit the sound pulse is continuously. Okay, so if any obstacles is detected, so uh, echo pin uh, receiver pin to receive the sound pulse. Okay, so easy to calculate the. So once the receiver pulse, uh, sound pulse has to receiving this receiver, so to calculate easily to calculate the uh, distance. Okay. So in this ultrasonic sensor uh, used for different applications like uh, obstacle avoidance for uh, or always using robotic to measure the distance. Okay. So or always car parking system then garbage monitoring to monitor the level for using in different different applications. Okay. So one is then uh, next one is the crystal oscillator to maintain the crystal oscillator is used to to maintain the uh, transmission of tra sound transmission and then receiver okay pulse to maintain the pulse. So in this ultrasonic sensor has two four pins. One is the VCC. So next another one VCC. Next one is the ground pin. Next one is the trigger pin and then echo pin. Okay. So VCC directly to connect to the five volt of Arduino. Then ground pin directly to connect to the ground. Trigger pin, direct, uh, trigger pin it acts as transmitter and then echo pin acts as receiver. Okay, so a trigger pin transmit the uh, to transmit the pulses continuously. Okay, then uh, if any obstacles in front of ultrasonic sensor, if uh, any obstacles detecting in the sound pulse, the sound pulse has receiving to receiver pin. Okay, receiver pin acts as echo. So this is the working principle. Uh, so okay, so uh, it's a basic working principle. Then how to find the distance? So it's a transmitter. If any object is detected, the pulses to receiving the echo receiver pin. Okay, then how to calculate the distance? So distance. Then how to calculate the distance means one particular formula is available. One is a distance equal to time into speed. Okay, so but now I am don't know for distance value, time value, and then speed value. Then how to find the distance? So you don't know for time, you don't know value, you don't know for distance value, you don't know for speed value. Okay. Then how to apply the formula? Then how to find the distance? So now I am taking the now I am taking the 
constant speed okay so uh, i did not taking any constant value for time and then distance why means if the values is varying depends on this object once the object is near or far so the time values and then distance values is uh, so changing for depends on this object okay so the object is so uh, so far means the time is so high okay so the distance is more so i did not taking any constant speed and then any constant distance okay so but speed speed i give the constant value of constant speed transmitting so once i send the uh, package of pulse to depends on this particular velocity okay so i give the constant speed for 0 uh, 340 meter per second so but ultrasonic sensor to find the centimeters values only to convert the meter to centimeter 0.034 so in the, in this particular speed then value has to continuously sending pulse has to continuously sending okay so the ultrasonic sensor has to sending sound pulse okay so uh, first to uh, i now i know for the sound value okay so speed value 0.034 so it's continuously to trigger the package of pulses it uh, to transmitting if any object is detected or package pulses to receiving this receiver pin at the time to calculate the actual time okay so the, in this package of pulse the trigger pin has to calculate the starting time and then receiving pulse to calculate the ending time okay so uh, then how to calculate the actual time means actual time equal to ending time minus starting time so to now to find out the actual time so now you know the speed and then distance okay so after go to calculate the sorry now you do, um, know the time and then speed then go to apply the formula distance equal to speed into time so easy to find out the distance okay so this is the timing diagram then how to apply the timing diagram means trigger pin to send the package of pulse okay so uh, the particular uh, particular speed sending then the values is high after few seconds low after few seconds high okay so it's a pulse so if any obstacles is detected at the time the echo pulse has to act as high state otherwise normally pulse uh, echo pin act as low state okay so th this is the timing diagram to pulse transmitting and then receiving then go to write the program then how to write the program in first to set the pin mode fifth pin act as trigger pin okay so to set another one pin the mode the mode act as input mode okay so why the trigger pin act as output means it's continuously to send the out trigger uh, sound pulse okay so the to give the condition to write the condition so the mode is output echo pin to receive the signal sound pulse only so the mode is uh, input echo so next to write the condition so delay delay microseconds to give few seconds okay so next same to uh, first then the fifth pin act as high then next to low delay microseconds 10 seconds act as 10 microseconds act as high 2 microseconds low okay so it's pulses to sending packages so after it's continuously trigger pin is continuously sending so next to calculate the formula uh, timing okay so duration to set the variable duration equal to pulse in okay so pulse in normally echo pin act as low once the pulse act as uh, sound pulse to receive the echo pin at the time act as high okay so act as high means to calculate the time next go to the formula distance equal to distance equal to speed into time okay so speed into time means the duration into 0.034 okay so then divided by 2 divided by 2 is mentioned for uh then the pulse travel into two distance one is a transmitting and then another one is a receiving after then go to serial mo to print the serial monitor to print the values in serial monitor use the command serial dot print distance okay dist then to use the delay function 1000 first to set the condition serial dot behind 9600 okay so 9600 actors to transmit the pulse
speed okay so to transmit the data speed for through controller to in this serial in this right side serial monitor is available right so to control the data transmission for through usb okay so 9600 bit per second every data has to transmitting and receiving through usb okay so tact as u what communication universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter then go to copy that program then go to sticker cut then next to find then go to search ultrasonic sensor search ultrasonic sensor Okay, fifth pin actor, fifth pin trigger pin to connect the fifth pin. So echo pin to connect. Okay, then echo pin directly to connect sixth pin. So next to then next to five, then go to search on. then go to copy that code then go to paste okay then go to then go to start the simulation then go to start the simulation then how to find the distance pin then just to click so the obstacle okay so this is the obstacle so wants to moving for uh, then uh, near or far okay so the obstacles is near so the value has to printing in serial monitor so the distance values is 37 right and in this value has to finding in centimeter and then inches also so in this distance then the distance is 45 then the same 45 and then 50 51 so 46 and then 140 cm so in this ultrasonic sensor ranging to to find the range of then 250 to uh, 250 to 350 cm only okay so in this related application then this related sensors like as uh, radar <coughs> and then sonar okay so radar is mainly used to uh, defense and then sonar is used to submarine okay so it's find out the Uh, it's find out the obstacles in range uh, kilometers okay so through uh, particular kilometers like if any obstacle for example to consider the defense okay if any if any aircraft is detected in the radar signal easily to find out the if any uh, missiles or any aircraft or anything easily to the defense uh, defense people has easily to find okay so for the related appli- uh, related application sensors so uh, same ultrasonic sensor used to to find the obstacles using to send the sound pulse okay so once to then obst- obstacles to go, uh, to get then fear of long uh, long distance or in low distance then particular centimeter has be easy to find okay okay all of you is it clear and then how to build the iot okay so using the sensor so these are the basics to write the program so use the use the sensors and then uh, condition command then to build the iot okay
ओके थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू फॉर द इंटरेक्टिव सेक्शन ओके थैंक यू ऑल Please to fill the attendance link in attendance link. At attendance link form is available in chat box. Please go to fill the attendance form. Okay. At the same time, then go to the YouTube to put on the comment for this particular session. So you you did not fill the attendance form, means then the certificate will did not generate. Sir, so okay. Thank you. Thank you. thank you all thank you sir and thanks to everyone who all joined us today today's program hope everyone had a great good session also i request everyone to join tomorrow session at 2 pm sharply also fill the feedback form that is given in the chat box thank you all okay. Thank you.